Well, from the ST stand at Embedded World, where I'm joined by Laurent Dessigné, who's the STM32 Ecosystem Marketing Manager. Now, a year ago we stood here as you launched the STM32 Cube solution. So, just remind me what it is. Uh, yes, indeed. Last year we announced our STM32 Cube, and this is a software tool aiming at easing developers' life with software tool running on the PC for easy microcontroller configuration and embedded software bricks running on STM32 with high portability, uh, with aiming at easing migration from one STM32 to another. So last year when we met, we were announcing only support for STM32 F4 series. So, what's been going on over the last 12 months? So we, we are worked hard for such solution which needs a very, let's say, large portfolio coverage for all STM32s. And uh, actually the last series were actually added last week. So today I'm very proud to announce the full availability of our STM42 Cube on all STM42 present and future. I think I know what the answer to this question is, but where can we see the solution in action? All around. I mean, it's, uh, most of demonstrations actually demonstrated here on our booth were made using STM42 Cube. And in addition, during the three days of the show, you have a conference over there demonstrating how to create a USB-based application with STM42 Cube and in less than 10 minutes. Now I'm sure you've had quite a lot of feedback over the last 12 months, so how did the reviews look? So we had mainly two kinds of feedbacks. So first feedback from customers having some strong portability concern. They love the solution because it really matches their needs. And we had some feedbacks from people coming from 8-bit world we are a bit surprised by the, let's say, the overhead in terms of performance of our abstraction layer. They are expecting an access closer to the hardware, maybe losing some degrees of portability. So I know you're always looking at evolving your technology, so what's next? So get ready for STM42 Cube Step 2, Chris. First, we'll solve this issue met by people coming from a bit world, and, uh, but actually this Step 2 will be strongly software tool colored. First, by the improvement of our STM32 Cube MX configuration tool on the PC, but also the addition of new software tools still under the STM32 Cube umbrella. The goal for us is still the same, is aiming at easing developers' life. Laurent, as always, lovely to talk to you. Enjoy Embedded World 2015. Yeah, see you next year.